These aren't your average RC cars. They're the elite crawlers ready to dominate any challenge. I'm Shannon, aka the RC Princess, and let's dive right into a look at the most capable crawlers we own. Today's highlighted rigs are the Vanquish Phoenix, the Red Cat Ascent Fusion, and the Vanquish VRD Stance. The Phoenix and Fusion are mine, the Stance is my dad's, and we took them out for some father-daughter crawling time. These are by far the most capable rigs we own at the moment. The Stance and the Red Cat are the only two LCG chassis rigs we have right now, and I know the Phoenix is not considered the same as the other two, but it was my most capable rig until the Red Cat came along. The terrain we are at today is rocky and climb worthy, perfect for the LCG chassis, but make no mistake, the Phoenix can hold her own. If you guys want a more in-depth review of the Vanquish Phoenix, I did a video covering it. For those that are newcomers to my channel, the Vanquish Phoenix was my first rig I ever built, so to say it's my baby is a complete understatement. Some things I put into the Phoenix are Desert Lizard shocks, limited edition pink steering servo from Reefs, Hobbywing Fusion SE, and of course Trio Beadlock wheels. Now moving on to the other two trucks. With the Red Cat Ascent Fusion, I find myself wanting to take it every time we go out. Unfortunately, some of my other rigs have taken a backseat and tend to stay home more now that the Red Cat has entered the family. And I think my dad feels the same way about his stance. Let's take a closer look at why these are our most capable rigs. We'll start with the Red Cat. When it was released, I jumped on that immediately. If you guys have been around for a while, you know I love the Hobbywing all-in-one motor ESC combos. For me personally, this rig came 90% fully upgraded. The only thing to date I have switched out was the tires and wheels. I threw on J Concepts Megalithics on Trio Beadlock wheels. Perfect combo in my opinion. Again, I didn't hate the stock tires, but I didn't like them either. Other than that, I haven't touched anything besides a little Velcro on the battery and battery tray to hold it in place. I honestly find myself wanting to take the Red Cat out all the time just editing this video. I'm like, when's the next time I can get out? <laughs> now I know it's not pink. But the whole aesthetic of the truck is gorgeous. They match the whole truck to the color scheme very, very well. If you guys want a more in-depth look at this truck, I'll be sure to link the unboxing and upgrades video down in the description box below for you. Moving on to the Vanquish BRD stance, another amazing rig in my opinion. Not as appealing in looks as the Red Cat, for myself anyway, but just as capable, if not more. Another rig that is pretty comp ready. This is where my opinion is going to differ from others. I do not think the stance is as upgraded as the Red Cat is stock. It's a brushed motor, which we all know I prefer brushless, and the chassis is aluminum, whereas the Red Cat is carbon fiber. Again, I have a whole video dedicated to looking at the differences and the similarities between the stance and the Red Cat, so I'll be sure to link that one down in the description box as well for you guys. The stock tires on this stance are the VXT2 tires, which are really nice. I think it was no match for the other two rigs before I put the megalithics on the Red Cat, which, side note, the Phoenix also has megalithics installed as well. Overall, the stance is really nice and well designed, and it conquers the trails really well.
So which rig today has captured your attention? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up icon and also hit that subscribe button because Vlogmas is right around the corner and you don't want to miss what this Vlogmas has to offer. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!